Bass it on cuddles. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we were playing catch them all. We were playing. Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. You ever had those days where it starts off one way and then finishes a totally different <laughs> way than you ever even thought? We had a vision today to do one video and then something awesome happened and we had to put a hold right then. One of my family members sent us a picture and they found some trash on the side of the road and the picture from what we saw, we were like, too good of an opportunity to pass up. We have to score on these. That person grabbed that from, from where they found it. And then my mom went to go grab that <laughs> and brought it back to her house. And we drove, which is over an hour away from where we live. So then we went to go get the trash and now it's here in our driveway. Today went in a completely different direction, but it is going to turn out amazing. So let's go. On the side of the road in this city were four mid-century modern chairs. And I've been looking for a set of chairs that I can use around a work table that I'm going to find somewhere, I'm not sure where, that's going to go in the studio space so that the kids and I have a small spot to do our homeschooling. I haven't been able to find any chairs anywhere and then there you go, on the side of the curb in the city, four mid-century modern chairs. They are hideous. <laughs> they look terrible, but they have so much potential. And so I have a vision on what I want these chairs to look like. I don't know yet what kind of table I'm going to have to be able to put these next to, but I do know that no matter what I do to these, I'll be able to find a really great neutral table to use as a workspace. And so what I want to do is restore these and make these look a lot more 2020, but still have that vintage vibe. So I'm thinking neutrals, gold, really glamorous and just super comfy to hang out and do work in that studio space. So all of this metalwork here is what really attracted me to these chairs. So when mom and Uncle Joe were like, do you want these? I said, absolutely, because although this is a combination of like the gold and black, I'm going to make all of the metalwork on these chairs gold. And then I'm going to reupholster all of the seats, fronts and back. I'm gonna use scrap fabric that I already have left over from other projects because I always have a bin of just like neutral flat colors. And then I got some metallic gold spray paint to do all of the hardware. So I'm gonna take these completely apart and start working. Occasionally I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got needs. So one of these chairs is not like the other. There's four chairs. One of them was clearly loved a lot more than the rest, and it needs a lot more work. It's missing the original fabric. It's cut up. It has no padding here. It looks like they pieced together a whole bunch. It's falling off, missing a foot peg. The back is all ripped apart. So this one definitely needs a lot more love than the others. So I'm going to deconstruct these as much as possible and get these restored. Wish me luck. completely come apart is going to make spraying these and upholstering that much easier. Okay, I'm not really sure who thought they knew how to upholster on this one, but this one's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> oh wow, I'm worried what I'm gonna find in here. Don't lose any hardware. You know what I was just thinking? What? I probably have about another three weeks of working in bare feet and then it's gonna be slipper season. <laughs> I don't know, if you go back to some of our old original videos, you're in bare feet in the winter. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the nice warm weather while we can. The cool air is coming in though, I can feel it. Over the past couple of months, I've done several gold projects and it took me quite a while to find a gold that actually looked gold and didn't look brassy or brown or too yellow or too orange. And so I'm using Rust-Oleum Metallic and it's their bright gold. And it says it's for shiny metallic surfaces. I don't find it's actually that shiny at the end, but this has been the best gold that I found so far. So I have some project planned ahead for this. So I'm going to test this one out on the chairs and hope that it's the right gold finally. Wish me luck. Good luck, hon. Okay, I prepped this area so that hopefully... Can't wait for our driveway to be gold. <laughs> <laughs> Put down some protection on the driveway here. And you can add some gold spray paint to Ruby because she doesn't have enough white spray paint on her. <laughs> From doing the <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to... I tested the... I did the wind test. You did finger. the wind test? <laughs> yeah, there's wind. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's it. Hold up just a minute for some help just to find myself it's a perfect gold isn't it 
I have plans for this gold in our new bathroom renovation. I can't wait. By the way, tomorrow, demo day. Yeah. And we're picking up all the supplies we need for the bathroom. Tomorrow, we're doing a huge trip to Home Hardware to pick up everything we need. Oh, that's so exciting. So I'm excited that we just found the perfect gold because I am going to be using this for something for that project and it had to be the right gold to be able to make it work. Okay, so you have four absolutely gorgeous chairs. Well, well I, mean, like, I don't know, you're gorgeous. not just, yeah, I don't know if they're actually gonna turn out gorgeous. I love that you have so much faith yeah. in me and what these are gonna look like. I this. assume these chairs are gonna be absolutely gorgeous. What are you gonna sit at? I think my plan is like usual, because I wanna be thrifty, is to find a table that the kids and I can all sit at to do our schooling or work on projects at. And I think I want it to be central in the middle of the studio space. So I want to have a lot of room all the way around so the chairs don't like bump into things and the kids can create on it and we won't care if we get it messy. So it needs to be something that can wipe off. Okay. I don't know. I found a lot of like secondhand kitchen table sets and all stuff, right, but stop. they're too big. I, I just want to stop you. Okay. okay. I may have done something. What? Okay. I may have, yeah, I may have gotten you something for your studio. Okay. I don't studio know. Presents? Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna actually like it. Okay. But Should I ask you how much you spent? <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't ask anything. But okay. we're gonna, we're gonna. Put, it needs to be put together. Okay. So I would like to uh, for us to put it together. Maybe you see it for the first time on okay. camera with our YouTube family. With our YouTube family. And okay, these have to dry anyways before I upholster. So are you doing this now? Okay, YouTube family. You gotta help me out. Alicia has to love this. It's, I think it's totally up her alley. I think it's her style. But with the new age twist, I always see Alicia when she's working and I figured that this would be very beneficial for her. I'm not gonna say anything else. Let's go. I'll go get it. I'll go open okay. it. I'm excited. Okay. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous because we can't take it back. <laughs> I'm nervous now. I don't oh want to show it. It's, I don't want to show it. Okay. He's looking for it. He forgets what room he put it in because we just moved a whole bunch of stuff and he probably had to hide it because he knows I would have seen it. Yesterday we were cleaning all day, so I don't know how I didn't see whatever this is. It can't be that big. <laughs> Sneaky guy. Oh, it is big. What did you do? You may have seen this come in, but I told you not to touch it. I don't think I saw and it. You cannot see what it was, so it kind of worked out perfect. There's two parts oh, to this. Oh, I did see that sitting with the drywall and stuff, but I yeah. thought it was part of the build. There's another box to this. What? Let me get it. What did you do? Every crafter, every DIYer, everyone who is busy like you needs one of these desks. <laughs> An anthro desk. So I'm five foot four. So this is like a five foot long table by 30 inches, so two and a half feet. One side is this gorgeous light wood maple and it's a really amazing material. So I know I'll be able to wipe this off if the kids get markers or I get paint or something. And the back side is white, so you can actually reverse it. So I'll have to decide, but let me know what you think I should do, maple or white. I and love then, that maple, it's so soft, it's so I'm nice. I'm assuming that this is the base. <laughs> we are about five or six minutes into building this table. Yeah. It's super easy to put together. The one thing that I've noticed so far about this table is how well built it actually is. So fun. It's like heavy duty metal. Heavy duty metal, no, everything on it is really well built, right down to the bolts. Everything is tugging up really nice so far. So far, amazing. Ah, so excited. I need the distractions. You need the distractions? <laughs> yeah. So we brought all of our supplies inside because it was getting dark. It's now the middle of the night. I am working on upholstering the chairs. All of the gold spray paint that I did earlier in the video is all dry and I would be ready to assemble the chairs except for I haven't finished the upholstery yet. So what I've done is this actually is not the original coloring on this chair. It was actually pink underneath on some of the other chairs. And the one chair that was in really rough condition actually didn't have any hard covering on it at all. So luckily I had some batting and was able to finish that up. So what I did was I actually went around all of the edges and took out all of these tall little tacks that were in the backs of the chairs and all along the seat edge. There were hundreds of these on 
all four chairs, quite tedious. Didn't think you guys really cared to see me take out so many of these, but I have a gigantic pile. A lot of them are embedded, so I'm actually going to keep them in case I ever need them because they're original vintage. Who knows on a later upholstery project if I'll want them. What I'm using to upholster these is some batting and I'm using this upholstery linen. I've actually doubled it up because it's not that thick and so I wanted to make sure these were super durable. And then what I'm doing is I'm just sticking the batting between the two pieces. So I just have a very thin Coulter's batting here. I didn't want anything too, too squishy. I think a firmer chair for our work area is just fine. I've already done the top of the back of this chair here so it looks really good. And I have the holes ready to put the posts in along the bottom and the back looks nice and clean. I just upholstered it with that fabric. I know there's a couple of wrinkles, but I think in time it will kind of wear itself out, but I'm just using scrap fabric, so. I mean, next step is to get the final seat upholstered. I'm using a pneumatic stapler, so I'm going to put my batting between my two pieces and then show you how I upholster it. But what I'm going to do is upholster, and I've shown you lots of times on my channel how I've done this, but I'm going to show you just briefly. What I do is I like to do a spot in all four of these centers here. Then I work with my corners, and then I kind of close it in all the way around. And I want to pull it nice and tight. Now I have a little bit of batting in between, so it's just a little bit harder to pull it, but I know that I want that extra batting there. So I'm going to put in a staple, and then tighten this back side here, pull that up. I can cut off any excess at the end, put another staple, I'm going to turn it, do the same things to the middles here, give it a nice little tug. Depending on what type of fabric you have, you don't want to pull too tight, but I know I have a nice stiff fabric, so I'm going to put a staple here, and then I'm going to turn it, put a staple here, and that's going to make sure I have a nice tight top here. It's going to get tighter when I start working on my corners. So to do my corners, I take the actual point of the corner, and I pull it in. And I just make sure it's nice and smooth around the edge of my corner here and I put a staple. Now I take this extra that's here, fold it in, and make myself a nice clean seam right there. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm just tucking in the fabric, pulling it over, and you can see I have a really nice corner there and I'm going to put a staple. I'm gonna do that to all four corners. And you can see I already have a really nice basis here to be able to then do the middle and the sides to close up those extra spots when I'm done. But it's important to do your corners first. Corner in, make sure it's flat. Tuck the fabric in. Tuck it in on this side. Put a staple. Here I have no staples in the middle and I wanna make sure this is nice and firm. So I like to put one in the middle, make sure it's nice and tight and then I'll do the other two and I can work my way all the way around once it's done. I'm just pulling a little bit of tension and then putting the staple. So then I'm going to go tighter all the way around and I can cut off a lot of this excess or even just staple it down. I'm going to cut it closer not too, too close to your staples. You still wanna have lots of room there, but enough to clean it up underneath. I am so happy with the way that these chairs turned out. I can't even believe that one of these chairs was so much worse than the other ones. It was a nightmare to get all of the staples and those little old vintage tacks out. But once I got all of that out, it was clean sailing from there. I'm pretty happy with the way that they actually turned out super smooth. I used extra batting to give them some extra comfort some leftover fabric and some spray paint. I used a little less than one can of the gold spray paint, so this project really cost me nothing at all. And chairs free on the side of the road. Can't really beat that, right? These are going to be a great addition to sit around the work table in the studio space. I can't wait for that interior space to be finished so I can get this stuff inside. The table, Philip, the table, it's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to show you two family what it can do. It's going to be a lot better for me on my back where I'm not arching over when I'm working on projects. I'll be able to adjust it for different types of projects since I do lots of different types of things. So check out the chairs. Making moves, trying to get away from this life I'm living. Same old things every day, want to change this feeling. Wasting no more time, don't care about what you're saying.
When tackling these chairs, I was a little bit nervous about that fourth chair that was in such bad condition because there really wasn't any permanent structure holding the seat together and I just wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna turn out. But can you believe this is that worst chair of the bunch? I think it turned out amazing. It's nice and firm, it's got extra batting in it. All of the upholstery turned out great. I love the gold spray, amazing. The table is amazing and it's going to be so good for me while I'm working. Look at what this cool table can do. You have four different presets on here. You can set it to whatever heights you want. You have M1, M2, M3, M4. So I can program this, but this is simply amazing. With the push of the button, I can work standing up or sitting down. And then I can bring it back down. And the baseline height of this table is actually perfect for the height of these chairs. So if I leave it at its lowest point, these chairs fit perfectly. If I wanna work standing up, I can hit preset for myself and know I always like to work, say, at chest height. It's kind of perfect. I hope that you enjoyed today's Trash to Treasure video. If you like Trash to Treasures, head over to my playlist on my channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.